M0FXB Hamtech just quickly going to install the firmware for the mic gain fix for the Vox version of the RT95. So I'll put a link in for the download which is on the RT95 Facebook group and you click it and you download all these programs and one of them is just the programming software nice and easy we've been testing that that just works as you as you would expect looks like this now we've got a cable in the front of the radio there you go and if you right click device manager like so ports and there it is com 27 so that's our cable and of course connected the other end to the pc back to the downloads to run the firmware program you right click it says here qx code okay there is instructions here but we've got them on the left as well so with the qx code which is the firmware loader just right click and go run as administrator and just go next 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 install okay and then it will look like this okay you've got your firmware loader now just remember regarding the instructions you're running this firmware twice because what you first of all to get it into firmware mode on the first one you turn off the radio now I'm going to show you this with me installing it in a minute but you turn off the radio but the power supply also goes off yeah and then you hold down in the first instance the P3 key as you can see make this a bit bigger P3 and the push button then just turn on the power supply okay uh, and then you're going to run it select 115 200 board rate and you select the folder you select really important is the rt95 main unit 1.61 okay that you've saved in a file from the download on facebook once that's done the screen will go black turn off the power supply yeah then once you've done that hold down this time the p1 button which is the one above and the push button again turn on the power supply yeah and um and then this time you're going to select the other for the other spi file which is the lcd one run that and at the end of that the radio just turned on so um yeah watch the rest of the video first of all we'll update the rear main unit we'll launch the program so we want to select the right com port which it says here 115 200 com 27 right click device manager to find our com which is 20 let's find it 27 there and then we'll go open the file and the rear main unit is underneath at the bottom one click OK and then we'll go right and it's now writing the main unit that complete and at the end of that um, it says then you open the other one which is the, the the LCD unit so com port all the same open after connecting and writing the frequency cable click right to upgrade upgrade the panel software and it's exactly the same but this time it looks like we press the let's get it right the P1 key okay so that's what we're gonna do so first of all P3 allow power with the push button push button being the volume channel then P1 okay so click OK on that. So now we're going to, let's have a look now. In the power off state, press and hold P1. In the power off state, press P1 and push key. Then connect the power supply. All right. So I'm just confusing myself here. In the power off state, press and hold the P1 key and push key.
Right, so we're going to power it off. Then we're going to press and hold the P1 and the push button, power it on, which I've done. Let's just see if that will go in now. We just go open, LCD, click OK, and then write. While it's doing it, as you can see, that's the LCD part. We've got something on the screen now. Ta-da! So we now have the new firmware installed.